Hello fellow modelers and styling fanatics, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing fine and enjoys the hobby. Concrete Bunker is back with another one of its notorious episodes. On today's episode, I think that we are uh, on part 8 of our body build with Ozzy. Uh, and that body build is none other than the Panzer IV project from Border Models in 1 to 35th scale in kit number BT005. Uh, now I'm gonna cut straight to the chase and I'm going to tell you that I have uh, uh, of course started with the, the, the diorama construction. Now uh, I, won't, I won't lie and you all guys know that I am still a, a newbie on uh, diorama construction. I am still trying to learn what uh, what works and what doesn't work, what it is, uh, uh, what is right and what is wrong. Uh, I am still trying to find my steps. I am learning as I go. Now I have uh, done some work. I have prepared the base, and I have reached uh, a pretty good stage of uh, of, of the diorama. Uh, things are moving on a snail space, a pace of course, because as I've said, I am learning as I go, I have questions, I, I, I take uh, answers of course from friends are helping me, but uh, you know, I am still doing corrections, this work, this does not work, these things take time. So, uh, anyway, I have wrapped a small, a small episode, a relatively small episode up. I have done some work, as I've said, and I want you guys to do the usual stuff. Grab a seat, make yourselves comfortable, crack the mandatory cold one, and let's see what me and past George have uh, in this episode. Well guys, welcome back to what it looks to be part 8 of our Panzer bodybuild project with Ozzy. I'm going to cut straight to the chase and tell you that uh, we've got a new camera angle which means that uh, if uh, if not uh, if everything is not in frame please uh, excuse me I will need to uh, be more familiar with my new tool for videoing anyway uh, what you see in front of you is a crude, a crude, is a base that I have created for uh, for our dio for the Panzer, and uh, this is a crude sketch of that base. Uh, the base is almost almost square, is 32 centimeters in length and 27 in uh, centimeters in uh, height, not height. In, in, you know this side I cannot remember the word <laughs> so it's 32 by 27 uh, I positioned the panzer and I I, I have uh, I thought that I don't want to go any bigger than this because of course first of all um, space issues storage space issues and second of all um, to save uh, supplies, you know, the cost of supplies. The more, the bigger the diorama is, the more more supplies you need. So, this is, I think, a a, a good uh, start. And what I have done off camera is, of course, to cut a piece of foam and frame it. I used cardboards. Cardboard is not. It, it it is a kind of cardboard. It it is a. It is. Um, it comes from this piece. Give me a second. This is uh, what we use for the. The rear parts of a of a wardrobe or a drawer uh, case. Since I work in a place with furniture, I have uh, one eternity later. 
Since I work in a place with furniture, I can uh, grab a lot of this of, of this stuff. So that's what I am using, since it co it costs me next to nothing. So I have got uh, a thing uh, a square of blue foam, framed it with using this stuff and uh, and my hot glue gun, and now we have a crude sketch. So let me explain you. This is going to be a wall. This is going to be the wall that supports the the bridge. Over here, the, this line is going to be the bridge. This line is going to be our road. And over here we have dirt. And probably over here we have dirt. But I don't remember. That's why I haven't uh, written anything down. And... Uh, Hopefully, I am going to start building on this. Ho hopefully, what I what I mean by saying hopefully, I, I, it is that uh, hopefully I have taken some right crude dim dimension, and I'm going to start building on this. I'm going to give this one uh, height. I'm going to also start working on the bridge, etc., etc. Let me show you what I mean. This is gonna stay like this. Here is where the panzer is gonna go. I'm gonna grab whatever I have in hand so I can show you. Over here we're gonna have a small wall. Like so. Don't mind this. The jar is only for, <laughs> for you know, um, display purposes. No. Are we still in frame? Oh yes, we are. I think. Oh, this thing is going to be the bridge, and this thing. Nope. This is not going to be the bridge. This thing is going to be the bridge. Put your imagination to work. And this thing is going to be the, the support uh, wall that holds the bridge in place. So I think that uh, we have a pretty good uh, crude sketch. And uh, we're gonna go with it. Now, my next course of action, of course, will be to build up. Over here, I need to be, I need it to be some kind of a hill. And we're gonna see what else is going to be over here. So, guys, I did some work uh, of camera, of course, as you can see. Uh, I have managed to build up. Uh, and key and give a crude shape to our scene over here we have uh, what is going to be a hilltop this is gonna be all dirt um, over this one is the support the, the supporting wall for the bridge and this uh, piece is the bridge I know it doesn't look like it uh, this much uh, at this point but bear with me, we're gonna make it. This is um, a, a, a really crude and bare bones uh, sketch. Sketch, not a sketch. You know, um, let's call it a sketch because I cannot remember the, <laughs> the proper uh, word for it. So, what am I going to do now? This is not glued. This is not glued as well. The only thing that it is glued in position is this one, is the hilltop. I am going to give it even more shape, you know, save it, make a slope over here. And I am also going to um, stabilize the wall, this wall in place and start working onto the, the bridge, give it some detail. 
Um, I also need to cut a small triangular piece over here to to close this gap because imagine that this wall has to go all over here, stops up away, uh, stops on top of the bridge, and I'm also uh, have I will also have to add some detail over here. Now, um, to be honest with you guys, I have no plans. No particular plan. I am uh, proceeding as uh, as I go. I am learning as I go. Is uh, the proper uh, um, the proper word, the proper use of words. Anyway, let's see what's going to happen. I'm gonna start cutting this one, creating a slope over here, as I've said, and we're gonna uh, continue moving on with whatever my mind tells me to move on with whatever I feel you know um, uh, I feel safe to do so guys quick update over here and we have uh, did some work as I've said I have saved uh, the, the cliff side I created a slope over here and also I have pinned the supporting wall for the for the bridge and I have also created the um, brick texture, brick texture, stone slabs, I would call them. Um, they are a little bit uh, big in size, I would call them overscale, but uh, from the reference picture, they actually look big. Uh, I'm gonna skip this small mistake, and since I've done it, I've done it. They are. Um, the the actual measurement for each one of them is one and a half centimeter in length and one centimeter in height in height I should probably go something less than a centimeter height and a centimeter in length and we are moving on now uh, what is my next plan I have also cut it some sides so I can enclose the the dio here and over here at the back give it a, 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 a more smooth shape but this this will not be glued yet I'll have to give it the shape over here to follow the shape of the dio of the dio so these two parts have to wait until uh, groundwork uh, will uh, find its way over here so these parts are for later I just cut them just to be ready just to have them ready just to... and what's my next uh, course of action so my next course of action will of course be to add groundwork here and on the slope um, I'm gonna probably probably use modeling clay for that to build up the bulk of it and then on, on top of it I am going to use this product Vallejo Earth Texture uh, mainly because the, the bottle is finishing and the thing is drying inside the bottle so uh, might as well use it as it, uh, as it is usable yet so uh, that's going to be my my next course of action let me do that off camera and i'm going to be back so guys although i've told you that i'm gonna build up the groundwork i did something else uh, because a pro problem quote unquote problem occurred uh, uh, while i was building the, the groundwork but we're gonna talk about it later so let's start from my work onto the groundwork simple as pie let me remove the, the vehicle from here so as i've said simple as pie over here all this is modeling clay i have uh, uh, added it to on top of uh, of the blue foam so i, I can build it up you know, uh, use less material from the from this stuff. 
so uh, modeling clay over here and while I was at it I have a miscalculation as always and the uh, thing has ended unfortunately so I, ha I was left with this side to go and uh, while I was searching my drawers I found something um, similar to modeling clay uh, and uh, I, I thought that it was a, a, a good time to to do an experiment this thing you see over here which is not yet 100% dried is wall compound dry wall compound that we used to um, the thing we use as putty for the walls over here so I had a small jar, it was going off, so I was thinking what the heck, let's slap it over here and see how it um, how it reacts. So far so good, it is rock solid, rock solid, you know, when it's going to be totally dry, 100% dry, it's gonna be rock solid. And uh, we're gonna add... Uh, we're gonna add to it a little bit more as we move uh, forward. Of course, this is not going to be the the final uh, stage. Not uh, not uh, not only over here, but over here. This these two things are not the final stage. Uh, of course, I'm gonna add to it as I as I move forward. I'm gonna add this one. I'm gonna add uh, uh, dirt from uh, my garden. And we're gonna move forward with that. You're gonna see. Uh, hold on for a minute. Now, we're gonna stop right here talking about the groundwork and we're gonna move on another topic. Still a diorama topic. Um, still onto this build. While I am building the, this one and I am still learning how to build dioramas and how stuff works. I have learned that uh, onto a diorama it is not so good to have uh, empty spaces, you know, huge parts of empty spaces. So I have two empty spaces in this diorama. I had two. Now I have only one. One of them was over here in the corner. As you can see, if I add our panzer, goes all almost over oops over here this is where I am planning to position it over here we have an empty void so this one was an easy fix I could either add marching infantry or I could do the easiest thing and do the the same the other side of the wall over here i opted for the side of the wall because it also adds structural rigidity to the bridge don't worry nothing is glued over here it it is a, a crude mock-up a crude mock-up it is a mock-up i'm gonna use these two pieces of uh, foam but they are not yet glued so I'm gonna give the same stone slab texture over here and we're gonna move forward so down here no empty void and no empty void because over here we have our uh, panzer over here we're gonna have some uh, foliage and over here we have the wall the second space of ep empty void right now is on top of here um, According to reality, if you can, <laughs> if you can make a sentence like this, according to reality, okay. The real thing is that over here, this is a train bridge. Over here, we have train tracks. For the time being, I have no train tracks in my possession. Now you're gonna ask me why don't you buy a set of train tracks for two reasons. First of all. Uh, I don't want to buy a set of train tracks just for this build, just for 10 centimeters or anything, or something like that. 
And second of all, I wanna finish this thing. I wanna finish this thing. I am eager to finish this thing. That's the the, the that's the best way to explain it. Th- that's why now I am toying between two ideas. One idea is to uh, create a cobblestone road over here, and the second idea is either buying train tracks or uh, give it a shot uh, with uh, scratch builded ones. Now I have not yet decided. I'm gonna move later onto that issue. I'm gonna address later that issue. For the time being, I'm gonna finish with the the, the stuff that I can finish. One step at a time. I don't wanna bite more that I can chew. So we're gonna move over here. So. I have to tell you guys that making these kinds of uh, cuts is totally difficult to you. I am I was lucky enough to uh, do them spot on. They are not perfect, but I am okay with that. I can live with that. Uh, they could be perfect if I had the proper tool, like you know the the hot wire thing that cuts foam like uh, like butter so since i don't have a, a tool like that in my arsenal for the time being i opted to cut it with uh, let me grab my knife with this thing so you need an extra sharp blade in this thing and you need to have steady hands and you need to measure more than twice and be sure where you are cutting um, now as you have already seen I have glued this part which is the the base plate the base plate you know the thing that everything is glued on I have this one as to glue as well but before I do that I'm gonna pause the video and I am going to uh, do a how to in between this video i'm gonna show you guys how i created this stone slab texture so um, i am going to work onto the diorama off camera i'm going to add to the groundwork and i am going to prepare myself myself to show you how I do the stone, how I did the stone slab texture on this piece. So, guys, this is the how to I was talking about. I mainly do that for a friend. He knows who he is. I'm not gonna tell names. Um, what you see in front of you is a piece of uh, of a blue foam board, the simple one like this. This is an off cut and uh, I have uh, done some uh, random uh, lines depicting the the stone slabs that I want to do and I, the only thing I have uh, done is to carve the straight edges like this so what we're gonna need for this, what I use at least the hob originally I use a ruler just one I have in hand right now I, I I would recommend you to grab, a, 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 you know, a steel ruler, the thing that does not bend and you cannot cut it, because if it's a plastic ruler and you and you use it like this for the for an example, you you are trying to cut something, you may cut into plastic. So with steel rulers, nothing like like this is going to happen. So ruler, a simple pen you uh, draw onto your piece whatever you want to cut of course you see if you like it first that's why you draw it first and then you need your exacto blade a simple pencil and a ball of uh, aluminum or aluminum tin foil or tin foil so 
I have already cut the the horizontal lines. I'm gonna start cutting the vertical lines. As you can see, simple as that. Not so uh, deep, or how much deep you want. It doesn't matter. I'm just following my drawings over here. My drawings. If you go quickly and uh, mess something up, we're gonna uh, fix that later. Hopefully, my camera angle is the right one and you can see what I do Oops. so now we have scored our piece we need what we need to do we need to leave our exacto knife in uh, somewhere <laughs> in the edge and we need to enlarge those uh, seams you know the seams I mean the things that are between that separate the stone slabs and uh, what we can do it for if you don't have a specific tool and when I say a specific tool I am talking about um, um, that silicone uh, rubber uh, paint brushes that we, you use for sculpting a pencil is always your uh, best tool so you do it you just enlarge the seams you don't go all the way but you put half of your um, of the pencil uh, edge inside and all you need to do is follow your uh, sketch your pattern I, I have to, uh, your pattern yes and you go like this what this does is deforms the foam and enlarges the gaps so it is more um, uh, it is more realistic, you know, nothing in nature, stone slabs in nature have no hard edges. It, they have seam lines, they are, the seam lines are filled with concrete or another compound. Here it is concrete. So we need to enlarge the gaps in between them. It looks better. It is more. It is far more realistic, and it is easy to do a simple po uh, process. So this is what you are supposed to be looking at, and your work with the pencil is also finished. So we leave that aside, and now we go to the tin foil. The tin foil is a thing. The tin foil ball. It is a thing that you need to use only if you are working with a uh, rock textures. It gives you just grab a, a piece of tin foil, you roll it in a ball, and you have the perfect tool that is going to give you the random uh, rock texture on a surface. And what you need to do is just roll it of all over your surface just apply a enough amount of force and 
there we have it guys our rock texture is ready simple as pie easy quickly rep repetitive work if you are doing a, a long uh, wall a, a big wall of uh, stone slabs or stone you know or rock formations and it is easy to do replicate zero effort the only things you are going to to need is stuff that you can easily find and just the blue foam that every single one of every every single one of us has in his disposal as long as he is building dioramas that was my how to i'm gonna leave this thing aside and we are going to continue our work on our diorama so great is another update and I, although I know that I have said the mut multiple times that I'm gonna continue working on to the groundwork things are uh, <laughs> going differently from uh, what I'm saying I always find stuff to uh, different stuff to do more add more add more add uh, more and more add more you know uh, new ideas dropping on and stuff like that so um, I added this part of uh, a different blue foam to the bridge because it has nice texture and it has that um, ridge over here which is uh, which gives a more interesting and realistic look and uh, it is almost closer to reality to, to the real picture uh, Right now I am deba debating if I am going to damage it because uh, I have some pictures that uh, showing this ledge damaged. I'm gonna add the pictures somewhere in the screen. Uh, I have also given the, the stone slab texture over here and glued these two foam pieces uh, onto the scenery and right now i am uh, thinking where exactly to add the foliage uh, of course foliage is going over here all this side is gonna be foliage it's gonna be bushes it's gonna be um, grass all the, all kinds of stuff and uh, but i need some of them over here because once again from the picture i'm gonna add somewhere in the screen over here on top is gonna be gravel and uh, probably uh, railroad tracks but this is a topic for another time what is going to to concern us is the lower levels because here is the protagonist of our scene so we're gonna mainly work over here now that I've uh, got all this out of the way I think that I have enough footage for our first update on uh, on the diorama so we're gonna move uh, we're gonna call it quits over here we're gonna wrap this episode up and with all that and done we have made it to the end of the first episode for the Panzer diorama on our next episode we will probably <laughs> Uh, start working more on the groundwork adding uh, greenery and and stuff like that and we're gonna address some other stuff uh, around the base and probably over here on top of the of the, of the overpass uh, I hope that you guys found this video helpful and uh, interesting and stick along for the next one before I go, I want to thank each and every one of you guys that watched this video. A special thank you to all my subscribers, all the new. You guys are the best and you are the reason I keep doing these videos. For the newcomers out there that encounter my video, one of my videos for the first time, welcome guys. I hope that you like what I do. If so, you all know what to do. Leave a like, comment with your thoughts and opinions, share the video if you believe it deserves to be shared, or even consider subscribing for more builds to come your way. Until the next time fellow modelers and friends, take care and model on, it was that Mofo Damon, signing out.